and here I am again in search of better moments and creating sweet memories. Another day of mine I share with you and another thoughts of mine I came to give. Stay for dinner. We are going to make something yummy and party tonight. Today I am unclosing for you the secrets of secrets. How much do you know about it? And what does Armenia have to do with it? Silk Road was a trade path that connected the ancient Rome with China, you know. In fact, Armenia has been on the very crossroads of the Silk Road. The great Silk Road played an extraordinary part between East and West. Besides being a trade road, it was also a social, religious, scientific and lingual bridge of exchanges for all member nations, which enriched also Armenian culture. Our traders, merchants and super talented artists were highly spoken and described by very famous historians and travelers such as Immanuel Kant, David Hume, Xenophon, Marco Polo and others. You can trace the Silk Road in Armenia by following its old bridges, caravanserais or inns, medieval stopping points where caravan riders and their pack animals spend the night. The Selim Pass caravanserai is a valuable example of these inns. A faint inscription over the entry dates the building to 14th century attributed to the prince Orbelian Chaser and his brothers. These two relief carvings on the facade are emblems of the family, a winged animal and a bull. Destroyed in 15th centuries, the caravanserai was renovated in 20th century. The building, the basal structure, consists of an entry hall on the east and a long hall for animals divided into three aisles with two rooms for people. Feeding throws lay between the pillars. To the east of the caravanserai is a large half-buried vaulted chapel. Imagine yourself in 13th century, spending the night in this antique hotel, and you wake up in the morning and have this view in front of you. Mm. <laughs> Okay, let's drive to Yegakis to dine and overnight. Meanwhile, I will tell you about trade to Nova in Armenia. We were importing silk, porcelain, jade, embroidered fabrics and other goods. And exporting carpets, our worldwide known double knot carpets. Cattle, horses, they had a great demand, plant and mineral dyes. The most famous was cochineal. Other objects of export were garments, belt, and jewelry. Armenia was rich in cereals, such as wheat and barley. And the best you could get from us was wine and beer, even today. So, will you join for dinner? I want my room, I want my room. Oh, look at this, guys. I already like this idea of the kiss. Okay, let's go and check out what we have upstairs. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay. This is a simple, clean, simple room. Being honest, it's very simple. But this is what makes it 
the most amazing hotel at this area oh I love it look at this breathtaking this rock just welcomes you every morning you open your eyes <laughs> beautiful let's open the window ah, you should be here to feel what I feel right now and a bathroom again very simple interesting solutions they have here some natural <laughs> solutions they have but again very clean I like the idea I really like it so guys it's dinner time and I'm invited to the kitchen of uh, Hotel Arabi to make together something very delicious and local. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Staff only, but I'm a special guest. Part of this. <laughs> Nara, tell me. Come closer and tell me what we do. <laughs> Our first dish is mountain herb avalux soup. Maybe you have heard about sorg. They picked them in the spring, prayed and left to dry. Yeah, more softy but not that much. It's not ready. So, it's not ready. <laughs> ah, we forgot the water. <laughs> Don't boil it without water. You need the water. <laughs> They said as much is enough. Mm -hmm. okay. Some black pepper. Okay, Armen got a light for us. Look here. Ah. So pity you cannot smell it now, but I can smell it. I can smell it. <laughs> but whenever you plan your trip to Armenia, this is something you should definitely try here, okay? This is something really local. Who knows, maybe some other countries, nations also have this dish. But in Amina, we really consider it uh, like a local village uh, soup. This is the lentil we made beforehand and we are going to add this lentil to our soup. <laughs> These are the potatoes I just cut. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the sound of the river, but it sounds amazing. 
and this is where we overnight watching the rock in front it's getting quite cool I'm going to change my clothes while our dinner is getting ready do when their tummy is full of delicious food.